Hi guys, it's 2 p.m. on a Thursday and I'm sitting with my washed hair. I'm about to get my hair done because today is the Gracia Awards um, in the evening. So I'm gonna get ready at four. It's two o'clock right now. So two hours from now, I'm speaking so fast. Uh, I'm getting my hair done and I'm really kind of nervous. The person I get my hair done from always is not here. So um, I trust her a lot with my hair. She's the only one who does my hair and she's not here. So uh, we're getting someone else on board who I've never worked with before. So I'm very nervous because I'm so super anal about my hair and makeup like I either dice in it or just don't have anyone touch it but I really wanted to do something else because I'm always seen in the same hairstyle I wanted to do like a loose bun or something I don't know I may end up with blow dried hair at the end of it honestly what makes me comfortable is what truly works I need to feel good so we had a last minute outfit emergency there are no outfits they're all in Delhi <laughs> because the fashion week happened recently and everybody and all the designers are in Delhi right now and I live in Mumbai and I usually source outfits for these things because I don't like to I don't prefer buying for so expensive and then like using it once and never using it again so uh, a plus or a pro of being like you know an influencer or like anyone like a little bit popular in the space I find very weird talking about myself like that so you get the memo um, we get to source you know branded outfits but uh, people are not here right now so like we're chasing and chasing and chasing trying to find someone to send me outfits and I'm getting like a bunch of outfits sent to my house I'm starting I'm, I'm gonna get ready in the next two hours or 4 p.m. so I'm hoping that the outfit each by then otherwise I may have to cancel I may not make it to the grass awards because I don't have anything to wear and these awards are usually like very media oriented like little, these awards are very like media friendly there's a lot of media and stuff in general um, so yeah I'm just going to uh, hope and pray that these outfits that are coming and that are on their way are going to fit me and I'm going to like them. I really need to feel comfortable in those outfits. I don't like usually pulling up stuff and like I don't like to be uncomfortable, you know. So yes, my Cosmo outfit was so bomb by the way. It was by Nikhil Tampi for RSVP. It was so good and very rare moments. I love, love, love what I'm wearing to be honest. Um, especially when it comes to events like this. I'm just entering into the space where people are calling me for like events like this and it's only gonna increase because you know the world is opening up again and I get very weird with fashion. <laughs> Let's hope the outfits come, they fit me, I like them and we move on with our day because I've been so on edge the entire day today. I went to the gym, worked out a little bit. My head was not in the game because my outfit wasn't here so. That's my day today. I'm literally editing the vlog of last month. It's been so long since I put up a vlog and it's just been pending clips over here because I keep filming bits and pieces of my entire day and before you know it, I've collected over like 60 clips and I'm I'm just like oh god i have to sit and edit those so that's what i'm doing right now for you guys okay so our outfits have come we have two outfits here kalki two bags okay we have got like a really cute like sari vibe very heavy though i don't know if heavy is the vibe i'm going for but let's give it a shot okay this is the first outfit it's gorge but um i'm i don't think this is the right function i don't think this is the right event for it it's really heavy and it's really pretty like look at this back though it's so nice yeah i i'm not exactly feeling it guys we have no outfit and i have exactly two hours to start getting ready i don't know what's gonna happen because None of the outfits are appealing and my boobs are like spilling. <laughs> I love this outfit, but no. Okay, we have a bunch of other outfits that just came in. This is the first one. We have the top with the bodysuit and a pants. So let's check this out. This is the next one. A lot of subtle sequences, glitz and glam. I like the neck. So let's give this a shot first. This is the next outfit. Wow, I look classic right now classic mess this is the other outfit it is it fits really well i love the cut and it's a safe option right now it's i have like two hours to go so i have to pick so i pick this this midsection it's going to be very protruding because it's very tight here yeah okay i guess this is the outfit y'all see the back i can't zip it all the way but it seems like it yeah, I'm gonna pick that one because that seems like the most appropriate and the most comfortable also. We got another outfit that just came in. This is such a nice outfit. 
um, only if it didn't have this. I don't, I'm not a fan of this. Plus, it's very, very tight for me. It just won't zip up. So, oh, I would have loved to wear this actually. It's got like a really nice, so it's got a slit like you can see. It's, you know, it's a bodysuit and a slit. So there's a bodysuit inside and it's just like sheer cloth, which is so pretty. But, um... It's not zipping up, baby. Um, I have a lot of issue on my chest area only. Most of the cups and the chest zips do not zip up fully. I wish people made like bigger cups in general. Just so, you know. Yeah, anyway. Hi guys, okay, we're sitting for hair with Aarti here. And um, we're getting, we're not late, but I'm still confused about what hair I need to do. We have two outfit options. Another one is coming. And uh, we have three options to choose from. So according to that, we will decide our hair look. But now we're just blow drying the hair, so hopefully it's the silver outfit, you guys. Let's see. Super exciting. We've done our blow dry. I'm lost for words now. We have one more outfit left to come and we have an hour, like an hour and a half. We have time, but I just want to be like prepared. The, it's a full house. Vasha's <laughs> having, sipping some tea. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm mostly this, but everyone's saying black. The vote is on the black dress, so they're pushing me to do the black, but... Always, always. Dosa first. Yeah, I'm hungry. I need to eat, otherwise I'll be hungry. So yeah, we're rushing. This is the outfit pick, you guys, and I love it. I I always wear subtle glitter, like sequins. Shimmer, like, yeah. Even like Nikhil Thampi was like, yeah, only yeah. in the light. Hint of Hint of it, and yeah. I love a slit. It's got a very good slit. And I love this cutout. I'm excited. I am tying my hair up in a bun for the very first time. I'm not Killer. used to bun. I love leaving my open but it's taking away from all this work. Right? Yeah. Yeah. To like a low mid bun. Woohoo! Veronica's here! And we are ready to leave on time actually. Um, we'll go early and sit in the car. <laughs> I don't want to be late and all. The awards are over. Leave. <laughs> they must be like folding the red carpet and coming. Yeah. We're glittering. I need to wear a shapewear. Because <laughs> I've uh, eaten dosa. <laughs> we are ready. First time I vlogged it. I have some Short shots on it. Look amazing, at this. <laughs> nominated for BAFTA. The GMA 2022 for Breakthrough Performer of the Year goes to Adash Khada. Well, I was coming here this evening and I just thought to myself how lucky we are to get to do what we're doing, to be living our dream. How grateful I felt to just be, you know, to be an actor. This is what I always wanted to do. This is who I always wanted to be. But I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the chances that I got for the people who believed in me, for my directors, producers, who had faith in me, for my co-stars, some of who are here, who made me a better actor. Thank you, thank you so much, Grazia. Um, it feels nice, it feels really good to be rewarded for your hard work. And we all come here for our reward. Dupila, GMA 2022 Performer of the Year. The man who gives Red Bull wings. Thank you, Grazia. Thank you all. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful evening with these gorgeous, gorgeous hosts. Big fan 
of not just you, but so many people here in the audience. A lot of inspiring people. Harkiran more than anybody. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. It is 6th April, it's a Wednesday and it's 11.30 around that time. I woke up late today because dude my shoulders are hurting, both my shoulders because I worked out yesterday. I'm really sore and stuff so like I tend to sleep a little longer when I'm a little sore on my body. So yes, today's day is Masik day, waiting for the team to come in later on but before that I really wanted to shoot some Instagram shots for you so I'm gonna be prepping for that in a bit. Dude last night was so fun funny uh, we couldn't sleep it was around I came late actually I went out for dinner and I came really late and Akhil was working really late so we tend to like have some conversations and we stayed up so we realized that 14th to 17th April is a long weekend and when long weekends happen Akhil always wants to leave the city go somewhere and it is I think there's Ambedkar it's Mahavi Jayanti on 14th and Good Friday on 15th and yeah that's it so then then 16, 17, there's a Saturday. So Thursday to Sunday is like a full off. So Akhil and I, um, actually Akhil wanted to go somewhere and we booked tickets to Phuket. Phuket, I don't know how it's pronounced, but Phuket in Thailand. I'm going to Thailand. I have no idea whether they're allowing us. I have no idea. We just like booked it and we're like, we'll figure it out. The tickets were quite cheap actually, luckily. And the timings were perfect. We're going on Wednesday night, which is Thursday morning. And then we're coming back on Sunday afternoon, which is just perfect and ready for the next week. But weirdly enough, I am flying to Goa after one day. So I land on 17th and 19th, I'm leaving to Goa with my girlfriends. So this month is Chutti month. Um, we're just taking coincidentally a lot of trips. So it's exciting, can't wait to go with my girls. I have this package here from Nika. I have all the hair tools, not all the hair tools, but I have most of the hair tools that I necessarily need with me. So I have the Dyson, which is my jan, it's my go-to. And then I have a hair iron, I have a tong curler, and then I never had a beach wave. Kya bolte usko waver? Is that what it's called? So yeah, the you know the big three tongs that you clip your hair on and then it just gives that wave. Always wanted to try it, never owned it, so I called from Nika. I saw Alan Truman had it and I love Alan Truman stuff. I have I have their blow brush, I have their um, tongs, so I really really like them. So we're gonna see what this looks like and so I went to the salon and got my color like you know redone and I got a trim so that's why the straight hair. Alright this is it, it's called the waver. Oh it's so tiny, that's amazing, so good for travel, are you kidding? The wavers I've seen are like gigantic, this is so cute, ooh I'm excited. How long are you supposed to hold it for? I'm like pressing it. Ooh, interesting. Interest, it, hmm, it's like a, it's not necessary. It's like kind of small waves, I think. I should have, it should have been slightly bigger. Wait, let's see with this. Now I have to do my whole hair because this looks so odd now. Aisi karte na? Mujhe pata nahi hai actually. That's cute. Give some volume. It does give some volume. To like really press it down, see? It could be a vibe. Like it could, I don't think it's an everyday look, but it is a look. It's like, it's like crimping your hair almost. It's not the best crimp. Like, you know, it's like there, but it's not there. I don't know. I think I'm doing this the wrong way. Don't know how I feel about this, guys. It just made it frizzier, didn't it? I thought I would be a bigger fan than this. Yeah, I'm uh, not the biggest fan. I really thought I would like this look. You know, tie it up, then it looks good. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do this for the whole hair. Or I'm going to do this for the whole hair. Maybe I'm not used to it. You know, maybe I'll love it a little later. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna try and uh, fix this hair because I have to film now. I don't know many Q abhi kar diya. I should not have done it right now. So I went ahead and uh, like wet my hair a little bit because I'm gonna re-dice it straight because I need to film, yeah. I don't have time to crimp my whole hair now. 
so i'll film and then i'll try the crimp some other day properly on my entire hair and then give you a full review i think that has potential to look nice yeah it just has to i need to figure it out i need time with the hair tool even with the dyson i needed a few weeks with the blow brush i needed a few weeks i need to figure my rhythm so i can tell you whether it's worth it or not you know so don't go get it right now i think it could be a vibe but i don't know but yeah let's dye some the what's up guys i've been vlogging very less lately i know but um, i'm vlog whatever i can it's 12th april on a tuesday and it is 10 pm and um, yeah we are flying tomorrow we're flying at 1 15 am tomorrow so tomorrow night we're gonna fly and just midnight and yes we're going to thailand i can't believe we're actually going to thailand that is ridiculous we got the thailand pass finally it was quite a scene to get the pass you have to like fill a form you have to let the hotel like approve you to get into their hotel you have to book an rtpcr there so once you land the hotel does an rtpcr for you and stuff so i have broken out here and here this one is so painful i don't know why and how this has come it's after such a long time i got like a painful zit the best thing is i don't do anything about it i just let it do its thing you know by applying too many products you're just going to aggravate it i just let it be i apply simple fragrance free products on my face to hydrate my skin and then yeah i don't do much it's gonna go on it it's so massive and it's on the favorite i use this mario badescu drying lotion this is what i use to dry my acne but i'm still putting it every night to see if it does the trick and flattens it out at least i'm gonna have my nariel pani and then today is youtube day so i'm going to the gym and then i have youtube work i'm filming one video before i go so you have like content to see when i'm in thailand thailand <laughs> hello guys i just um got back from the gym had a quick shower even though i had to have a hair shower my hair is so dirty i i mean i'm feeling dirty it's not dirty i'm feeling like i need to take a shower because i went to the gym and it's sweaty but i really wanted to finish filming one video before i go to thailand tomorrow i really really wanted to finish this video and i have so many packages lying it's an amazon unboxing video where i wanted to show you what random stuff i got from amazon and i really want to clear that out it's been lying there since ages now i know today is just not feeling like the day to film but i'm just pushing myself to finish this look at that big cover up oh my gosh like it's so painful ah, it's so painful i want to like finish this video get this makeup off and let my skin breathe i have uh, someone from urban company come and clean my washrooms both my washrooms um they do a very deep cleaning like an intense bathroom cleaning where they clean your tiles they clean your wall behind the heater like they literally spend one and a half hours cleaning one bathroom and veronica told me it is absolutely spectacular so i booked it and i'm getting my washroom intensely cleaned hello okay so the urban guy urban clap guy just cleaned the house look at how like hi you can see my reflection in my flush like how freaking clean like all of this look at this like shiny new and like every bit of this wall has been like scrubbed it feels so freaking clean you guys dude i literally it smells like like bleach af and dude that turns me on if you know me you know bleach smell turns me on because it's clean this looks so beautiful like what the hell every inch of this bathroom feels like i can eat off of it right now because wow dude there was like such like you know paint stains over here that i hadn't gotten rid of but now it looks so freaking clean so they clean behind the heater they clean around the heater this this all of it all of it all of it it is so incredible like even here i'm so excited get this get this done if you're looking for like a nice squeaky bathroom clean get this done by oven clap dude i'm paying for it it's not sponsored but wow 
Hello, good morning everybody. Good afternoon. It's 12 p.m. It's 12 p.m. It is a Wednesday. It's 13th April today. Yeah, I just decided to sleep a little longer. Not sleep, but like lays in bed a little longer because my body is completely sore from the workout yesterday. So yeah, just woke up, had a nice shower. I needed it and how. I am not going to like blow dry my hair today because I'm leaving for Thailand tonight. Beachy trips are always, it's best if you avoid blow drying your hair because you're gonna go into the water and I plan on living in the water mm -hmm. so what I do is basically I just put some um, serum or leave on as such not live on why right? live on is like a generic name for serum um, just like a nice you know serum aftercare and then I'm just going to twisty my hair I saw this on Instagram it was a TikTok video someone had posted and it had turned out really well so I think yeah I'm just gonna do this and let it air dry and usually it has turned out really well and you get this really nice wavy effect of the hair which is exactly what I'm looking for I'm not gonna do much of makeup or hair or anything it's just gonna be light makeup trip because it is stinking hot that is what's up i did i speak about my painful painful acne i don't know if i spoke about this i'm completely blurred out there but yeah i got like this cystic acne here just this one spot and here as well so painful yesterday i just woke up to the biggest pimple ever and i'm just like what what happened from yesterday to today um didn't change anything as such i have been trying different things that is it comes with the job i'm trying different like foundations i'm trying different primers i'm trying different skincare it's just something i have to do before i recommend anything to you guys like you know that's just a part and parcel of my job but i think also this month actually last month and this month was a lot of like makeup putting and removing like a lot of it the cosmo awards the gracia awards so i think it's like sort of showing up later on my face and yeah i might get my periods um next week so acne is coming all of that stuff so just like a lot of things you know and and the heat let's not forget the heat <laughs> basically yeah there's no excuse or like i'm not trying to justify why i have a pimple that's not what it is i'm just like if you are suffering with bad pimples or skin or things like that it's because of any of the following reasons stress heat the weather change is intense in mumbai i don't know anywhere around the world but in mumbai i don't realize how hot it is because i'm sitting at home half the time the minute i step out it's like this gush of hot wind it's like you're in a sauna 24 7 so it is not a good vibe even in the night girl you don't want to sit out in a restaurant it is so sticky sweaty and horrible yeah anyway so yeah i'm not doing anything to it i'm not anyway my skincare is so simple i just put a cream and squalane oil on top i don't really do any skincare routine as such so i'm not clogging this i'm letting it breathe most of the time and what i have right now is the mario badescu drying lotion like this is a complete game changer so this has a liquid like you can see at the bottom here it's like liquid and some solution i don't know what it is but yeah it is there don't shake the bottle that's what i did first time and it just clearly says here do not shake do not shake the bottle before bed after cleansing and toning dip a cotton swab into the pink sediment at the bottom so you'll just dunk a cotton swab right in and then dab directly on the surface blemish do not rub it in let it dry and rinse it off in the morning do not use on broken skin do not apply on eye and lip area it's very minty it's got camphor in it so yeah it is quite the burning sensation but it just goes in a few seconds so i've been putting this anytime i get acne and it just dries up your pimples so well it does not work for everybody but surprisingly it works for me so yeah it's sort of flattened out yesterday was so bad i wish i filmed this i don't even know if i did but yesterday was so big and now it's completely gone in because of the drying lotion so i absolutely love that product just by the way you know bob wants to travel with me to thailand <laughs> it's like you are going to thailand don't you dare leave me i want to go into the pool as well so bob has come along with his long distant girlfriend <laughs> all right i'm gonna finish my editing so you have something to watch over the weekend while i'm in thailand and then i'm gonna go get packing i will catch you guys later